In the vast expanse of the cosmos, mysteries unfold with each new observation. Recently, the Hubble Space Telescope has made a captivating discovery that has left astronomers and scientists in awe. A mysterious trail of stars, like cosmic breadcrumbs, has been unveiled, painting an enigmatic portrait across the dark canvas of space. Let's embark on a journey to unravel the secrets behind this extraordinary phenomenon, explore the theories put forth by experts, and ponder the implications of this celestial trail on our understanding of the universe. Join us as we venture into the depths of space and unlock the mysteries of this captivating discovery made by the Hubble Space Telescope. As always, we start at the edge of the universe. In the depths of space, a mysterious trail of stars has been discovered by the Hubble Space Telescope. This trail, formed 8,000 million years ago, has confounded researchers and challenged their understanding of the universe. This structure, which appears to stretch indefinitely, is as large as our own Milky Way galaxy, but considerably narrower, leaving many mystified about its origin. The discovery has sparked a frenzy of activity among study teams, all eager to decipher the mysteries of this cryptic cosmic route. Despite their best attempts, this long, narrow structure remains a mystery. According to some analysts, the trail is the result of a galactic collision, while others believe it is a unique residue of the Big Bang. Some even believe it is proof of an alien civilization at work. But, as scientists continue to dive further into this cosmic mystery, one concern looms over them. Will humanity ever discover the answers? Or will it remain an unsolved mystery, a reminder of the immensity and complexity of the cosmos we call home? When astronomers originally saw this vast trail of stars, they assumed it was a black hole being obstructed by a gas cloud from our perspective because it requires a huge variety of complex, unusual conditions. This notion instantly piqued the astronomical community's interest. As a result, various scientific teams have continued to investigate less unusual alternatives that could explain the results. This new explanation, however, contradicts the original idea of a supermassive black hole passing through a gas cloud causing a gravitational disturbance that resulted in the formation of the star trail. According to the IAC team's theory, the stars in the trail were previously part of a small, disc-shaped galaxy that collided with another galaxy, disrupting its center bulge and forming the elongated trail. The new theory has stirred debate among astronomers, with some doubting the lack of evidence for the merging of two galaxies in the area where the star trail was observed. The IAC researchers, on the other hand, have defended their hypothesis, claiming that it is consistent with the present data and that additional observations could confirm or reject their conclusions. One thing is certain as scientists continue to explore this intriguing structure, the universe never fails to surprise and astonish us with its unfathomable mysteries. The motions, the size, and the quantity of stars fits what has been seen in galaxies within the local universe, explains Jorge Sanchez Almeida, an IAC researcher who is the first author of the article. It's a relief to have found the solution to this mystery. The new proposed scenario is much simpler. In one sense it is also a pity, because the existence of fleeing black holes is expected, and this could have been the first one to be observed. Future observations will allow for a more in-depth examination of this object. However, one thing is certain, there are many things in the cosmos that we are unaware of. The James Webb Space Telescope has discovered huge galaxies at the end of the cosmos that, according to current science, should not exist. Yes, it detected six galaxies only 500 million years after the Big Bang. Not only that, but these galaxies are more well-formed 
and contain more stars than modern galaxies like as our Milky Way. These galaxies should not exist because they disrupt our cosmological model. To make matters worse for scientists, researchers from the University of Minnesota discovered that one of these galaxies is so strange that we may have to start over. According to cosmic inflation theory, the universe began with the Big Bang as an impossibly hot and dense point. When the universe was just a hundredth of a billionth of a trillionth of a trillionth of a second in age, it witnessed an astounding burst of expansion known as inflation, in which space itself expanded faster than the speed of light. During this time, the cosmos doubled in size at least 90 times, rapidly expanding from subatomic to golf bale size. After that, the growth of the universe continued, but at a slower rate. As space expanded, the universe cooled and matter formed. The universe was populated with neutrons, protons, electrons, anti-electrons, photons, and neutrinos only one second after the Big Bang. The light elements were created during the first three minutes of the cosmos, a process known as Big Bang nuclear synthesis. However, the universe was essentially too hot for light to shine for the first 380,000 years or so. The heat of creation smashed atoms together with enough force to break them up into a dense plasma, an opaque soup of protons, neutrons and electrons that scattered light, like fog. 380,000 years after, however, matter began to cool, and it cooled enough for atoms to form. However, because no stars or other luminous things had yet formed, the cosmos was plunged into darkness after this point. First, 400 million years after the Big Bang, we can witness the universe emerging from its dormancy. The age of reionization refers to this period in the evolution of the universe. During this period, which lasted more than 500 million years, the first stars appeared. So galaxies, scientists thought, began building up in the first billion years after the Big Bang and sort of reached adolescence at one to two billion years. However, the James Webb Space Telescope has found not one, but six galaxies that were fully formed only 500 million years after the Big Bang. And that is a problem. Using first of their kind data from the James Webb Space Telescope, a team led by the University of Minnesota Twin Cities explored more than 13 billion years into the past to identify a unique, microscopic galaxy that created new stars at an exceptionally high rate for its size. The galaxy is one of the tiniest ever discovered at this distance, and it could help scientists understand more about galaxies that existed immediately after the universe began. The galaxy's volume is roughly a millionth of the Milky Way's, but we can see that it's still forming the same numbers of stars each year. The galaxies that existed when the universe was in its infancy are very different from what we see in the nearby universe now explained scientists. The study of these galaxies could help us figure out how and when the universe's first stars and galaxies appeared. Until then, the origins of the cosmos have remained a mystery. As the days pass, more JWST observations reveal that the universe, especially during its early stages, was stranger than we imagined. Webb has not only identified these early galaxies, but it has also detected a black hole that is nearly as old as the universe. Scientists believe they have discovered the universe's earliest known black hole, thanks to the telescope's ultra-powerful sensors that captured this elusive phenomenon. This supermassive black hole, which dwarfs our sun by a factor of 10 million, lived at the center of a galaxy 570 million years after the universe's birth, a time so distant that it's difficult to comprehend. To put this in context, the cosmos is thought to be 13.7 billion years old. Observations taken by the James Webb Space Telescope have revealed an active supermassive black hole 10 million times the mass of the Sun, one that is continuously developing as it slurps up stuff from the space around it. 
This is the earliest developing supermassive black hole observed so far, 570 million years after the Big Bang, but scientists hope it won't retain the record for long. The black hole was found inside one of the earliest galaxies ever detected, previously known as EGSY8B7 though since renamed Sears underscore 1019. Its discovery could help with one of the biggest head scratchers of the early universe, how the black holes in the cosmic dawn grew to such large sizes in such a short amount of time. We found the most distant active galactic nucleus AGN, and the most distant, earliest black hole we've ever found, said an astrophysicist associated with the finding. Initially, scientists were interested in Sears underscore 1019 as part of their research on the light produced by star formation in the early universe. This light, known as Liman Alpha Emission, is considered to be produced by star formation activity ionizing neutral hydrogen. The early universe was filled with a fog of neutral hydrogen, which prevented light from propagating. Light could only flow freely after this hydrogen was ionized. This epoch of reionization, as it is known, is not fully understood. We know it took place in the first billion years after the Big Bang 13.8 billion years ago, but seeing that far into the early universe is really hard. Sears underscore 1019 and a handful of other super early galaxies are excellent targets for this research, because they're relatively bright. The galaxy was identified in Hubble data in 2015, and at the time, was the earliest, most distant galaxy observed. Subsequent observations confirmed its existence, but more detailed information remained elusive. The earliest light in the universe has shifted so far into the infrared part of the spectrum due to the universe's expansion that a powerful, dedicated infrared instrument like JWST is necessary to probe them. So, when JWST came along, Sears underscore 1019, the brightest of the Hubble galaxies from this epoch, was an obvious target. The telescope stared at the galaxy for just one hour, with all four of its instruments, but returned a wealth of data. In the moment I was kind of like, wow look at everything we can see with JWST, we've seen this whole portion of the spectrum of this galaxy, and any galaxies early on in the universe, we've never seen before, said astrophysicist Rebecca Lawson. I was just overwhelmed by the amount of information. But then she spotted something she hadn't expected to see. Aside from the brightness of star formation, there was a broad emission feature typical of AGN. Things started to get intriguing when she reported it to several AGN researchers. In the early universe, a galaxy will typically emit either light from an AGN or light from star formation. It was quite unexpected to see both in the same galaxy. There is some impact that the black hole is having on the emission lines that we are seeing, but most of the light we see in our images is still dominated by the star-forming part of the galaxy. It is not as unexpected as you might believe that a supermassive black hole existed more than 13.2 billion years ago and was observed to expand. In the early universe, much larger black holes were discovered. Scientists are still puzzled as to how the black holes in those galaxies became so enormous, so early in the universe. What do you guys have to say? We have only recently discovered galaxies that formed only 300 million years after the Big Bang. These galaxies are big and complex, and scientists around the world were baffled, as according to the standard model of cosmology. Such galaxies cannot exist so early on. Now, with the discovery of this black hole only some 500 million years after the birth of the universe, the mystery has only deepened. So, would you like to travel to the other side of the universe, or stick with us here, at the edge of the universe? Until we meet again.